So I came across this really cool click to pause ad by this shoe brand and I decided I'm going to show you guys how to do it for yourself. So let's start by creating a new 700 by 900 sequence. I'm going to make it 24 frames a second. Perfect. Let me bring in the ad in so we can look at it again. Let's keep the settings. So this is what we are going to be recreating. I'm going to delete the ad and keep the music. So for our background, let's create a new color mat. Let's bring it onto our timeline. Now let's put a four color gradient effect on this background. I'm using this website to find my color palette, but you can use one from your brand. So this looks good to me. Now let's put in a grid effect for some extra sauce. And as you can see, now we have a black background again. So you need to change the blending mode to normal and maybe decrease the opacity to let's say 50% looks good. And you can play around with the settings to adjust it to how you would like. I'm happy with these for now. And now let's also add a turbulent displace to our background to make it more spicy. I'm going to set the amount to 10 and size to 20. I think this looks good to me. You can play with the settings and adjust it to however you would like. Now let's bring in our logo. So I have my logo here. I'm making this ad for Adidas. Right now it's too big so I'm going to scale it down by quite a bit. This looks good. I'm also going to move it on the top like so. Let's add a tint effect to our logo to make it white. Map black to white. Perfect. Looks good. And now I want to be able to put in some text. So I'm going to be using an AdZRX template. It's called the captions template. You can use whatever text tool you have. So I'm going to bring it in here like so. And now let's change the settings to how we would like it to be. For this one, I'm going to set the animation to typewriter. So I went ahead and put my text and I also changed the background color a little bit because I was not happy with what I had previously. And now I'm going to duplicate my captions text and I'm going to bring it all the way down at the bottom somewhere here. And I also moved it off center. So I'm going to bring it back. So I think it needs to be at 540 to be center. Perfect. And I'm going to change the text to my offer, get 30% off. And now I'm going to set the animation to word by word. And I'm going to duplicate it one last time, bring it on the bottom, decrease the font size to maybe let's say 40. Perfect. And I'm going to type in ends today. And let's change the animation here to let's choose line by line. Looks good. So if I play it back for you guys here. So this looks really good to me and now let's begin the fun part. So let's bring in our image of the shoe and start to animate everything. So I have my shoe right here. Let's drag it to the end of the sequence. It's too big right now. So let's change the scale to let's say 65. It's still too big. Let's make it 55. Looks good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same four color gradient to my shoe. But now it doesn't look the best. I'm going to change the colors a little bit, maybe somewhere in the lighter tones. So there's still some separation going on. Perfect. Perfect. And maybe I'm going to scale it up a little bit, 60 let's say. And now let's copy in our shoe on top layer. Let's decrease the size to 50 and let's delete our four color gradient. It's actually too big right now, so I'm going to make it 55. I think this should do. So now if they pause it perfectly, it should be something like this. And so to animate it, it's actually really simple. What we are going to do is come to the beginning of our timeline, go to our top shoe layer and add a position keyframe and move our shoe outside of the frame on the left. Then we are going to come in one second in time and move our shoe outside of the frame on the right. So if I play it back for you, this is something we have. I'm going to pause the music real quick. So this is something we have already and now to make it a looping animation it's really simple it's a quick workaround to do this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in one second in time and I'm going to chop my shoe and I'm just going to duplicate it until the end of my sequence. So like so and another thing that I need to do is because my captions template was a mogut and I could not drag it any further I'm just quickly going to nest all of them. 
I'm going to call them titles and I'm just gonna chop in the end so I don't have an ending animation I'm also gonna chop in the front so I don't have a beginning animation and I'm just gonna copy it until the end of the sequence so if I play it back for you guys as you can see it's all already done and there's one last extra thing that I would want to do is I would want to add a logo where it says click to pause so I'm using this website it's called Lord Icon and the best part about this website is you can choose from a ton of icons you can even change the animation and the colors from the website itself so that's really powerful so let's download one from this website and bring it into our project so this is the logo that I downloaded from the website I changed all the colors to white because it looked good on my background as you can see it's all animated already looks really good really professional it's lagging a little bit but anyways I'm just gonna reposition it and if you noticed I re I offsetted my click to pause text a little bit because I already know I was gonna bring in this logo and I'm just gonna place it here maybe I'll decrease the scale a little bit and change the position to something like so looks good and I'm just gonna duplicate it until the end of my sequence so that is about it guys here's the final product <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed consider subscribing and watch this video next of me breaking down a winning ad and giving away the copy template. Ciao.